morning and welcome to a new segment of Life University's Live Church. This is your live host, the Reverend Dr. Donicia Palmer Wallace. Thank you for joining me today, beginning of a new week. How grateful we are to be here. As is usual, I'm going to share with you a chorus to encourage our hearts today and through the week. It has four lines and I'm going to invite you to join me. You can even participate in doing some actions. I believe. I believe life loves me. And at this point, when we sing this, we just tap on our own chest to acknowledge that this is for us. I believe life loves me and you and you, whoever the yous are that we're going to meet in this coming week. Why worry? When we can pray, no need at all to worry. I believe. I believe, I believe, okay? Let's sing this together. I believe, I believe life loves me. I believe life loves me and you and you. Why worry when we can pray? Believe, believe, believe. Okay, let's try that one more time. I believe life loves me. I believe life loves me and you and you and you. Why worry when we can pray? Believe, believe, believe. And so at this point, let us just come into this present moment of gratitude. Just be grateful that we can breathe that we have come through the past week and we are into this new week and so for at this moment let us just close our eyes and take a deep breath a breath of gratitude and so today we're going to look at committing to excellence committing to excellence is about setting an intention the intention i would like us to consider today is what do you have now? Okay, so consider that. What do you have now? And what do you wish to keep? What do you keep? What you keep will always show up in your now moments. All right? They or it, whatsoever you wish to keep, if it's a they or a it, will always have influence, will always be what influence your whole day, your whole life, how you feel, what you do, what you say, what you think. Have you ever heard the word under the influence? That's exactly what happened. If you drink too much alcohol, then they say you're under the influence. I suppose whatever we do to that extent, if we're committed to it, we have come under that influence. So what influence? Another word for influence um, in this scenario would be what informs your choices what is it that's informing your choices some people say to me rev well i had no choice ah but what what informs you when we make our choices is something we don't even think we haven't considered we haven't thought about what is it i want to keep because what i keep will always keep showing up in our now moment. And what shows up in our now moment is what influence what we are saying and doing in that moment. So if we're not mindful, if we haven't thought about what we want to keep, what we want to keep on experiencing, what we want to keep on saying, what we want to keep on doing, then we haven't made a choice. Um, so that is what is behind what you say, what you do and how you feel and what you feel. Today, you and I can begin to create a choice. And that choice that I'm encouraging us to take is a choice of excellence. When we choose excellence, something wonderful happens. When we choose excellence, excellence open up a promise. Its promise is to help us towards becoming excellent. Isn't that amazing? So when we choose excellence as the marker, then excellence opens the door to its promise to helping you to become excellent. So commitment to excellence is a human, that is whether you're a male, female, child, adult, it's a choice. It's wonderful, isn't it? 
And that choice, I'm going to give you a secret here. You know, the secret is something that's hidden, isn't it? Or unknown. But I'm going to reveal it. I'm going to expose it and show it today. Tell you this. Okay. Why am I whispering? <laughs> excellence. The revelation of excellence is that it's simply this. Very simple. It's committed, okay, to your highest expression. So when you commit to excellence, excellence is then committed to take you to your highest expression of being excellent, okay? So you've chosen excellent. You know, I don't want to be mediocre. I don't just want to do anything. I want to move from just something showing up in my life that I don't want and I have to deal with it. I have to transmute it. it it's not pleasant. I want to make a choice today. And the choice I'm making, because I have, I'm setting an intention by looking at what I have now, and if what I have now is not something I want to keep showing up in my life, is not what I want to keep influence me in me, then I'm going to move on like the Rev is, is, is helping me to do today, life is helping me to do today, is to choose excellence. And knowing then, I know the secret of excellence, that it is to be committed to me. Yes, it's committed to me to, so that I can achieve and produce my highest expression of being an excellent person. Isn't that amazing? Another part of the exposure on excellence is that it gives you your best intention. But you have to make that, you know, life is not going to force you. God is not going to force you. We have some wonderful things, something wonderful that has been um, ingrained in us that is an inherent right and that inherent right to choose. Even if we were locked up, even if we were kidnapped and left in a place and you think, well, I have no choice. We have the choice of what we are thinking. And that is the marvelous thing that we have choice and choice. If we can set the choice, okay, to be excellent, to experience excellence, then excellence is already committed to us. So this week, today, know this, that life is excellent, okay? Life itself, the breath that breathes you, which is life, is excellent. So what you're actually doing, you're choosing to be what we were created and meant to be. Finally, I'm going to tell us or expose to us this marvelous truth. Excellent is greatness. Excellence is goodness. Excellence is the best of the best. Excellence is beauty. Excellence is life. Excellence is God in expression. God in expression, expressing excellence in the human form. I think that is marvelous. I'm going to say that again. Excellence is God in expression. God expressing excellence in humans. That is as you and me. Isn't it wonderful that God wants to express itself through me and you as excellence? Oh, it's wonderful. That's why the call today from life is to call us to experience what we came here to experience. We have had so much going on in the last few months that we almost have forgotten. That's what it's done. Do you know what lockdown has done? It It, it is trying to, um, you know, bring the sickness, bring the, the problem, causing people to hate each other uh, and, uh, and all this thing coming bum, 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 bum to bombard our lives with things that are not excellent. But today, in the midst of everything that's going on, life wants to remind us of who it is, of who life is, and what life intends for us so that we can set our own intention. Okay, we've, give, we've been given choice. Don't just say, oh God, have your own way with me. Yes, and God said, I'm having my own way with you. I am giving you a choice to choose excellence for yourself. I have chosen excellence for you, but are you going to choose it? It's wonderful, isn't it? Oh, there is the parents that have cooked the beautiful meal, but they can't eat it so that the child grows and is nourished. They prepare the meal and yes, their intention is to give the child a meal that will cause them to be healthy. But if that child does not eat that meal, the child has to choose, okay? to eat the meal. And that is, I know a simple analogy, but I have to make it as simple as possible so that everybody understand that they have a choice. That is a beautiful gift that life has given to us, that God has given to us, a choice. 
And if we would choose what life chooses for us, then that is the excellent way. And so as I come to a close, I would like to wish you an excellent week ahead. Remembering that life in your breath loves you, is committed to you, and is your truest and best friend. Whatever else will let you down, even your health will let you down, your money might let you down. You know, I'm praying and hoping that your children and your spouse will not let you down, but that sometimes is not exactly a guarantee. So today and this week, again, I ask you, what is it that you have now and what is it you want to keep? Because what you keep will always keep showing up in your day. Be committed today. Be encouraged. Be committed today to excellent, to the excellent way. What have we heard? We have heard about excellence. We have heard about choice. We have heard about intention. And that gives us a chance to create, to become co-creator in our own destiny of what we want to experience, what we want to show up, how we want to show up. It's not that you're just going to show up. How you show up is very important in what you think, what you say, what you do, and what you feel. Excellence, lastly, here is the last bit I want to expose. Excellence gives us room to bloom and to expand. Do you want to bloom today? Do you want to bloom throughout life? Do you want to expand? Then choose excellence today. Excellence is your best yes. Your best yes. Your best yes today is choosing to be committed to excellence because excellence is committed to you. Do you have a prayer request today? Is there something that you would like to see showing up in your life every day that you're pleased with, that is so beautiful, that is so wonderful? Then I'm going to enclose that in my closing prayer. My closing prayer today is that each and every person that has logged on to this segment, whether it's in this actual day or in the archives and future to come, that you would experience excellence as a way of life, as a choice, and as the one thing that you keep, the best friend, excellence. Thank you. If you like this um, short segment, why not give us a thumb up? If you have not already subscribed, why not subscribe today? If you are already subscribed and if you've liked it, why not send it on to somebody to let them know that life is committed for their excellence and so that they also can make that their choice. Bless you, love you. And this is your life host, the Reverend Dr. Tonisi Palmer Wallace, Life Church, your global community spiritual portal. Tune in again for more life, fresh thought, life words, life words of life to encourage your week, to encourage your day. Bless you.